Fall is the most birthday-packed season of the year, so chances are you have a few celebrations coming up. Make sure your friends and family feel special with a gorgeous bouquet of roses from 1-800-Flowers.com. 1-800-Flowers makes it easy to send the perfect gift. 24 multicolored roses for just $39.99. To get 24 multicolored roses for just $39.99, visit 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. That's 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. Dead in Hip Hop, audio review. Lucky 7, Lucky and the Laser Gun. Shout out to Arterio Stover. Um, he sent this one over as a recommendation, so that's why we are here. Look, I use my Googles. There's a lot of Lucky 7 type of shit out there, and I can't find him as a rapper. He from Buffalo, New York. You welcome. Um, Ken. Ken. Yeah. Nigga, nigga. Yeah. When Nuke Dropper hit, yeah. I was at the job and I, I like I I had to stop. I was talking to somebody and I just I had to stop it. I said, okay, well, well hold on. This, hey, this nigga requires attention. First and foremost. Um, his voice. Yes. His voice is made for he couldn't do nothing else in life but rap. Mm-hmm. The, the voice is so perfect. You know, um his voice is a huskier ransom and I love mm. Ransom's voice. Um, but man, this dude lucky seven and he did, get out the way. I was like, oh shit, this nigga, he on some other shit. Now, I didn't so Tetsuo, that's an actual anime thing. I believe so, yeah. Because okay. you know Lupe in the anime and shit like that. Yeah, so so when he, so when Lupe did Tetsuo and Youth, I just thought that that was something he created. So when I heard all of the little references mm. in here, I'm like, oh, so Tetsuo is actually thing. Which is a thing. weird because this shit is so hard and grimy, and then you got this fucking anime yeah. shit like what the, the high pitched kitty anime. Yep. I'm like, what the fuck? Now I know anime get grimy, y'all, so don't jump on me. But I'm just saying the 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 contrasting yes. sounds kind of. Yeah, it throws you it throws you off, but you know what? It's it's the only way I can I guess digest it. It's kind of like, you know, we we just had this conversation I never knew, but whenever you go to a mall or to wherever and you're trying to buy perfume or cologne or something, mm-hmm. after you smell two or three, like it all smells the same. So they got little coffee grinds for you to refresh. Mm-hmm. So that way, you know, you can smell something. For, I feel like that's what those intros did. Mm-hmm. It kind of reset the palette for you to be ready for the next mm-hmm. crazy shit that is the next track. But man, Kent, bro, hey, beginning, and then El Camino, Flea Lord, yo, like I, Ken, I was blown the fuck away. I never heard of this guy. Me either. Nah, I, I didn't either. Arterio sent it over. There, yo, I already know there's there's there has to be thousands of dope ass rappers that we just never heard of. Buffalo because, on the come up, bro. Huh? Buffalo Bu- on yes, the come up. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I'm not gonna say they're the next New York or Texas or nothing like that, but they have a run. They have yeah. a run in them. Um Ken, I I, I I'm I'm I'm, I'm Nigga, I'm I'm thrown away. I, I'm blown away. Like like this shit is just everything. Yeah, man. Like when again, like I was listening to it on the way here because it's it's a sweet 24 minutes, mm-hmm. and just nuke that 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 second that second that first real song nuke drop. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like to the point. Look, y'all might get a bit of an exclusive here. I was like. Because I'm like, man, I, I shouldn't be the only one to know about this guy. And I know we're doing 365, and that's going to put him on to more and more mm-hmm. people. But I'm like, yo, it don't need to stop there. Like, I'm thinking about doing radio next year, y'all. So <laughs> To be able to put yeah, people on. Y'all, uh, just let me know. Let me know um, if that's the thing to pursue. Because I think what 365 has done is that, one, is it's definitely got me reinvigorated back into music and all these other different artists that are out there. And um and guys like this, you know, are inspiring to me when I when yeah. I hear how good they are. Like this this takes me back to like like when motherfuckers like um kind of a throwback hip hop sound. And then so it, it's just like his voice and the style of rap, everything, bro. So it's like so when you get to you gotta make it and that's the mind playing tricks on me beat on it, he was killing that shit. Orange fucking soda, soda. was yes. fucking dope as fucking yes. shit. I was like, yo, that shit is insane. And and, and also, like, you know, I, I know I use the coffee bean analogy, but it but like 
the the contrast from motorbike music to orange soda because motorbike music is a little bit more upbeat mm-hmm. and then it goes to some the grimiest new york shit it's it, it just like insane. yo he picked some fucking dope ass i don't know who the producers are or producer but yo, he picked some dope ass fucking beat. That damn bass line on motor motorbike music. Yes. That shit's fucking crazy. Snoopy's fucking penthouse. Yes. Fucking went nuts, man. Like, yes. And it yo, that that shit's fucking insane, bro. Jay Skeezy. Oh, that J- nigga. J- oh my J- god. Skeezy. Hey, he skis all over man. that motherfucker. Yo. Skeezy, bro. Yo. Ken. Man, hey, di- hey. When did this come? Did this come out this year? This shit might goddamn make my damn top this 10, dog. This, yeah. this shit is stupid. Yep. And then the Canada Loves K, that, that was nice. But, yeah, Playgrounds. Was, did, I, did I fuck with Playgrounds? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, the little, yeah, the yes. little Asian beat. Yes. Yep. Yes. And I think, Ken, there was no skippables. All of these I shits. there was any. All of these shits is dumb hard. Dumb hard. Yep. Yeah, man. Then good body of life, perfect outro song. Mm-hmm. You know, no beat, no no drums or anything. It's just like we just gonna fade out. We just gonna we just gonna go out nice, smooth and easy, man. This motherfucking shit, bro. I sent this to B. I was like, yo, you heard him? He hadn't. <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah, I know. So I was like, yo, check him out when you get a chance. Mm-hmm. Like this motherfucker is cold. Yeah, and um, I didn't look to see if he had any other shit out. But um, but yeah, our Arteria Stover may know may know some things, a couple of things about music. Yeah, he got some he got some shit with Conway, uh, a track with Conway, I should say. But yeah, Merry Christmas, Retro Gr- Gamer. This is weird because he has this this grimy, hardcore ass voice, but it's almost like he's in the gaming and anime and shit into that nerdy shit. Mm-hmm. It's like. Yo, those contrasted styles is crazy, but yeah, this motherfucker dope, man. Uh, he is. That, yeah, he is. He's good put on, bro. I, I think. I think you know. Look, there's a special place for some artists that we done discovered on Dead End the, uh, 365, and this is one of them niggas, bro. This this is one of them dudes can where, man, like, I, you know, like just New York right now, the resurgence of New York. And this style of music, because New York has a lot of, I think just nationwide, we have a lot of different things that are happening in all of the regions. And when you listen to New York, you know, like we did a couple of the young melodic type dudes, Mm -hmm. like the little baby versions of New York cats. Uh, But then you have Ransom, you have Rome Streets, and then you have this guy, Lucky Seven. And it's just like, yo, yeah, yo, like Ken, just like you, I I haven't done it yet, but I listen to this like maybe four or five times already. And every time I'm like, okay, who am I adding to the mental list I need to send this to? Because yeah, there's bro. a whole bunch of people that I know that need to listen to this. Yep. Yeah. Nah, yeah, I, I agree. I think he's 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 that good. Yes. And um, yeah, man, and I, I think he needs to be heard. And I hope more people I hope it starts here yeah. and he starts to expand a little bit more. I know he's just, you know, grinding right now. You know it, something it, it about happen. like I don't we don't know how long he's been in the game. This is a first project, third project. Like, we don't know none of that. But he sounds stupid polished. He mm-hmm. he don't sound like this is the... And, and look, if this is the first one... It's not. It's not. Okay. He got, like, three other. Ooh. He got some Christmas joints. Okay. Uh, two Christmas mixtapes or albums. And then he got another album out that he dropped before. I just looked. That's how I know. Okay. Bet, but, bet, um, bet. But, no, nah, he does sound no, he's very he's super polished. polished. For, for yeah. Five or less projects in, he's dumb polished. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, now nah, he hey look. But it's kind of like um before we get out close mm-hmm. out, it's kind of like Damon Tyrell. Damon Tyrell yeah. was He was polished. Yeah, yeah. Very he, polished, he sounded, especially when we met him. Yep. And he's obviously grown a lot since we've met him, but He's from Buffalo. Yeah, so he's from it's, Buffalo it's some, too. There's something up there, bro. Yeah, it's something in that water, bro. It's something in that water. But um Ken, this joint came out October 1st, 2021. 10 songs, 24 minutes, 2 seconds. I'm being extremely specific. I'm a forego favorites because this whole shit, go download it, bro. Yeah. Go download it. Go buy it. Go band camp. Go whatever you need to do to support this guy. If you like boom bap music, you like Griselda, you like El Camino, you like Jay Worthy, you 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 like that type of music, this is the guy. Yep. This 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 is another guy to put in the rotation because yep. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. 
Nah, if you like this style of music, you're going to fuck with this heavy. Yep. Yeah, this shit is dope. You got favorites, Ken? Nah, I'm with you, man. Nah, Listen you to win. everything, man. Yeah. Listen to everything. Yep. Yep. yep, yep, yep. By far, my favorite is the second track but and, and Snoopy's Penthouse, but all these joints, are, all these yep. joints go hard. Yep, yep. Well, that's what's up, y'all. Um, y'all already know, it's the fourth quarter. We throwing up shots. 60 days. 60 days to the end of DE365. Mm. If y'all want, like, look, man, y'all got to give us some ideas, man. Um, what y'all want us to do in 2022? You know what I'm saying? This was dope for 2021. Uh, me and Ken are open to doing it again. Um, but we definitely want to add some more wrinkles, some more caveats. We want more immersion with you guys. You know what I'm saying? We want to always give you guys what you want. So hit us up on Twitter, man. Y'all do already a good job. I'm asking y'all to step it up because the, the end is near. And we need some more ideas. But look, we love you guys. Thank you for the support. We'll be back tomorrow with another one. We out. Peace. Nothing waits for a farmer. Not the weather, the banker, the crops. It's never at a farmer's convenience. So when it comes to crop protection savings programs, how come they get to ask you to wait for a rebate? Don't wait for rebates. Get the True Choice offer from Corteva AgriScience for instant upfront savings on crop protection products. Ask your local Pioneer sales representative or your crop protection retailer about the True Choice offer from Corteva. But don't wait. Fall is a season of gathering that brings us together with warmth and color. So whether it's a birthday, anniversary, or a special event, celebrate your friends and family with a gorgeous bouquet from 1-800-Flowers.com. 1-800-Flowers makes it easy to find your reason and brighten someone's day with exclusive offers and great values on bouquets and arrangements. To order today, visit 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. That's 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in.